what do you hear, what do you say? I usually don't upload YouTube videos like this, but being in the position I'm in, being in the age I'm in, I figured it would be a good time to address AEW Fight Forever. Now, I want to preface this by saying uh, I'm an old head, uh, pushing 40, I'm 36, I've been playing wrestling video games for the better part of 30 years now. I think my first wrestling game was uh, WWF Royal Rumble on the Sega Genesis. So uh, I wanted to address a lot of the bullshit hate that's going around for AEW Fight Forever coming out. And uh, I want to preface this by also saying that I'm not really an AEW fan. And I say not really because I kind of just started watching two weeks ago and I'm finally starting to get into it. It feels like their creative is going in a, like they have a vision, they have a direction and uh, I'm starting to come around on the product. With that being said, um, I wanted to address a lot of the hate that the game is getting for no reason. And I think there's a huge portion of just the population in general that just consists of children that were born after 2006 and they don't know anything about anything. They don't know anything about anything and they see bad graphics and they make a judgment call and these kids are gonna be the future of our country at some point and hopefully I'm gone at that point because we're gonna be fucking doomed because you have a lot of disabled people, a lot of disabled kids thinking they know things about things and they don't know dick about dick. They don't know anything about anything, especially when it comes to wrestling video games. And that's why I'm here. I'm not an AEW fanboy at all. I'm actually quite a hater of AEW, but I have to explain the brilliance of the AKI engine that AEW Five Forever is using which is the sole reason why people my age are excited for this game because we were around during a time when these games were coming out every couple of years no mercy wcw nwo revenge wcw nwo world tour and these games to me even to this day are more simulation than anything 2k games has ever come out with and Part of what separates AKI wrestling games from glorified fighting games like the WB2K games is the health bar. There should never be a health bar in wrestling video games. And the more I watch new gameplay of Fight Forever, the more I'm realizing that every WWE 2K game that has been released, including 2K23, which is a great game, is a glorified fighter. It is a glorified fighting game. Fucking 10 hit combos and quick time events and health bars. I'm starting to question where the fuck is the sim in WWE 2K games? They're supposed to be sim. I'm telling you right now, the AKI engine and the quick few gameplay clips that I saw this week of AEW 5 Forever, I was fucking blown away. I forgot how it's been so long. It's been like 20, over 20 years at this point. But watching Daniel Bryan do that turnbuckle backflip seamlessly without a quick time event, that is what wrestling games are all about. And the importance of the spirit meter compared to a fucking health bar, okay, is the health bar gives the player a definitive nature definitive nature should never be involved in a wrestling video game if i get my uh, opponent's health bar down to red or black i know i'm gonna win the match but the spirit meter there's no definitiveness that's the beauty of the spirit meter and the beauty of professional fucking wrestling the spontaneity, the unpredictability, the AKI engine is why people are excited for this game. I'm telling you, there's gonna be haters for this fucking game no, no matter what, because anyone that's born post 2004, 
I mean, you, you people are disabled. You have no knowledge of anything. History that happened before you were alive, you think didn't exist. You are the worst generation in the history of the world and everybody knows it. So I'm here to tell you, I'm not an AEW fan. The haters can suck a dick. And this fucking game is going to be, just from the fucking gameplay I watched, the 10 minutes worth of gameplay, the ladder match, the fact that the Big Show, here's one fucking thing that I, I never even thought of before. The Big Show was wrestling some fucking small guy in uh, AEW Fight Forever. I don't know his name. I don't know the full roster. Paul White, he was significantly shorter than the Big Show. When the Big Show hit his special, he fucking crouched down to get on the guy's level to do the choke slam. I That was fucking brilliant. Again, anybody hating on this game for content needs to go look at WWE 2K15 and then issue people like me a fucking apology. And I want to I want to hear from your dads too because it's not your fault you're like this. At this point I have to blame your parents. So bring bring your father, bring all your parents here cuz I would like to speak to them at, about the failed experiment that is you. So with that being said, very, very excited for Fight Forever. Don't care about the lack of game modes. Don't care about the graphics because it's all about the gameplay from the AKI engine, you stupid motherfuckers. User are retarded. Use are actually disabled people. The kids that were on John Cena's uh, entrance stage at WrestleMania, those are you. The, the Make-A-Wish kids that John Cena was on stage with at WrestleMania, those are you. That's you guys. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye. I said, bye.